Fegana presents. John chapter 5 Verse 1 After this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Verse 2 Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five potches. Verse 3 In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Verse 4 For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool, and troubled the water, whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Verse 5 And a certain man was the, which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. Verse 6 When Jesus saw him lie, and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? Verse 7 The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But, while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Verse 8 Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Verse 9 And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked, and on the same day was the Sabbath. Verse 10 The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day, it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. Verse 11 He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed, and walk. Verse 12 Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed, and walk? Verse 13 And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Verse 14 Afterward Jesus findeth him in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Verse 15 The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus, which had made him whole. Verse 16 And therefore did the Jews persecute Jesus, and sought to slay him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. Verse 17 But Jesus answered them, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Verse 18 Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. Verse 19 Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do, for what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Verse 20 For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. Verse 21 For as the Father raiseth up the dead, and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. Verse 22 For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Verse 23 That all men should honour the Son, even as they honour the Father. He that honoureth not the Son honoureth not the Father which hath sent him. Verse 24 Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. 
Verse 25, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Verse 26, For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself. Verse 27, And hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Verse 28, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice. Verse 29, And shall come forth, they that have done good, unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil, unto the resurrection of damnation. Verse 30, I can of mine own self do nothing, as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. Verse 31, If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Verse 32, There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Verse 33, Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. Verse 34, But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say, that ye might be saved. Verse 35, He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. Verse 36, But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do, bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me. Verse 37, And the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. Verse 38, And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he hath sent, him ye believe not. Verse 39, Search the scriptures, for in them, ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Verse 40, And ye will not come to me, that ye might have life. Verse 41, I receive not honor, from men. Verse 42, But I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. Verse 43, I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. Verse 44, How can ye believe? which receive honour one of another, and seek not the honour, that cometh from God only. Verse 45, Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. Verse 46, For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. Verse 47, But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? End of chapter 5